Homeostasis is how an animal maintains a constant internal environment. All of the processes that take place within an animal need a certain set of conditions in order to work properly. Homeostasis means controlling those conditions so that they're kept at a level where things work best. This video will look at three of the conditions that humans control. It's a temperature, sugar levels and water levels. We'll look at the importance of controlling each of these as well as how the body keeps each factor constant. The thing that all of these have in common is that they work by negative feedback. This means that the body produces a response in the opposite direction to the stimulus, bringing levels back to normal. It's like trying to drive a car in a straight line. If a car starts to drift left, the driver will steer right. And if a car drifts to the right, the driver steers to the left. This way, the car stays in a straight line. Firstly, temperature then. Enzymes are proteins that act as biological catalysts to speed up the chemical reactions taking place in cells. There's more information on enzymes in a separate video in the B2 unit. If these enzymes in humans are not working quickly enough, then the cell will stop functioning. This can happen if the temperature gets too cold or if it gets too hot. Normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and 2 degrees higher or lower than this can be dangerous. Something causes body temperature to increase slightly above 37 degrees, it's detected in the hypothalamus in the brain. The body then does several things to try and lose more heat. You start to sweat, the hairs on your skin lie flat and your blood vessels vasodilate. This means more blood is moved towards the skin surface where the heat can be lost to the air more quickly. These things work to bring the body temperature back down to 37 degrees C. In contrast, if body temperature falls below 37 degrees C, then the body reacts by producing more heat itself by shivering, where friction in the muscles produces heat, and by trying to prevent as much heat loss as possible by having the hairs on the skin stick up and the blood vessels vasoconstrict so that less warm blood is moved to the surface of the skin. Glucose is needed by the body for respiration, where it's broken down to release energy. Glucose levels in the blood are increased after eating, when the digestive system breaks down starch into glucose and it absorbs it into the blood. If glucose levels are too high, there's a risk of blindness and possibly coma. If glucose levels fall too low, then the cells will not have enough glucose to respire and work properly. As we don't eat constantly, our bodies must be able to control the level of glucose in our blood to keep it at a constant level. If glucose levels rise too high, insulin is released by the pancreas. Insulin is a hormone that works on the liver, where glucose is turned into glycogen and stored. This reduces the level of glucose in the blood. If blood glucose levels fall too low, for example during exercise or in between meals, the pancreas releases a different hormone called glucagon. This causes the liver to turn the glycogen that has been stored back into glucose and release it into the bloodstream. Water levels in the body need to be kept at a constant level. Water is a main part of the cells that make up your body. It's needed for many of the chemical reactions keeping you alive and is involved in keeping your body temperature constant. If the water levels in your blood rise too high, this is detected by the hypothalamus in your brain. A signal is sent to your kidneys to release more water when you produce urine. This makes you produce a greater volume of urine. On the other hand, if your water levels fall, perhaps because it's a hot day and you've used lots of water or sweat, then the kidneys do not release as much water in your urine. This makes you produce a smaller volume of urine. You also feel thirsty, making you want to drink more fluid to increase the levels of water in your blood. So, Homeostasis is about keeping your internal environment constant. This is important so that your cells, and particularly the enzymes inside them, work at their optimum level. All three examples of homeostasis we have looked at work through negative feedback, so that the body reacts in the opposite direction to the change in order to keep the conditions constant. In this way, we have seen how temperature is controlled in order to keep it at 37 degrees C, how blood glucose levels are controlled by the hormones insulin and glucagon, 
and how water levels are controlled by changing how much water is added to the urine produced by the kidneys.